Hey guys, it's Cauliflower. Welcome back to my channel. And as you can see, I am back in my dining room, my old filming space where I used to do all of my wonderful review videos and things of that nature. So I'm pretty sure you're familiar with the um, armoire behind me with the old china and stuff of that nature. And some of you may be tired of that. And I just say to you, well, too bad because this is my life. Anyway, today I am doing a video um, about some products, which disclaimer, I am not sponsored, nor have I been paid, nor is any of this stuff about, you know, like paid promotion, ads, that kind of thing. This is actually an idea that I got from a YouTuber that I love very much, and that's Peter Mon who uh, has a review channel called Peter Review Stuff. And he did a really smart thing, I thought, and did a video about the top 20 purchases he made in 2020. What a better way to, um, you know, take out a bunch of stuff and talk about stuff you bought and give yourself a pat on the back for doing it because <laughs> you got away with it this year because we've all been indoors and I'm, I'm pretty sure we've all been shopping. So most of this stuff um, is either going to be Amazon related or some of them are store related, some of them are independent websites, some of them are just, you know, buys, but all of these are things I've purchased with my own money and also things that I've loved, that I use every day, that have changed my life, that have been a part of my life. They're not just, you know, random stuff I just grabbed around the house and said, okay, let's talk about it. And the first thing I'm gonna talk about is the shirt that I'm currently wearing. I have to stand up and show you. And as you can see, it says, 2020, very bad, would not recommend. I purchased these um, a few months ago from a company called New York Shirt Company, and I will put up the companies or the websites or what have you of everything that you um, I talk about here today, everything you see here today, and I'll try and link them if I can find them. This is New York Shirt Company, and they had a deal where I think these shirts were like $10 a piece or three for 30. So I got this one because I thought it was so fitting because yes, I would not recommend this year to anyone. And um, it's just one of those things where it's like, you know, you feel like you're being a little bit more rebellious against some something that, you know, has uh, been really detrimental to all of our lives this year. I have two more. Um, I will picture, I will show you guys a picture of at least one of them that I've worn before on my Instagram, and I have uh, another one as well. But this is the first item that is on my 2020 I'm glad I purchased list. All right, the next thing, again, I am wearing is this piece of jewelry right here. This is from a subscription that my friend Nikki Murphy actually um, turned me on to. She was doing an Instagram story and she talked about this company in particular and the company is called Mint Mongoose. Now, I think <laughs> there's two things I think with this company. They have some really great little pieces that if you are like me and you like costume jewelry and you don't want to spend a lot of money and you really don't want to make so many purchases a year, but you want to justify getting new jewelry to add to your collection, this is a great subscription. The only thing I will say about it as a disclaimer is if you do wear these types of chains, remember that they're costume jewelry and don't wear them in the shower. I have learned the hard way and I've lost a few necklaces along the way because I just wore them so much and in the shower they did rust on me but um, I'm also wearing a ring um, from Mint Mongoose as well I really like them they're very inexpensive and she makes all of the pieces herself and she packages them really really nicely with a uh, cute little cards attached to them and everything is wrapped in like little bubble wrap and you get a theme each month and sometimes it could be a stone or sometimes it could, it could just be just um, you know seasonal what have you but it's a really nice company they're $14.99 a month I believe and I think they just um, moved their website. So I will link it below of where they are now currently, but they're still doing the subscription services. And like I said, if you like me, like costume jewelry, or you want to give a gift or anything of that nature, you can check I'm them out. I'm sorry, did I roll my eyes out loud? That is so me. 
Um, I am just Miss Sarcastic when I need to be. But the basic thing of this is that it's a journal. And this year, I actually finished up two journals. So I needed another one. Um, and I do this to just kind of like jot down stuff. I don't really um, write in it every day. I just jot down notes or passwords. Or um, like today, I jotted down the stuff for the video, as you can see here. I have some listed. But this I got at Barnes & Noble. Um, they always have like such cute, um, they always have such cute uh, things like this, planners, journals, or not lined but it came in very handy this year. So I loves it, loves it, loves it. Okay, so the next thing, I hate copying Peter Mon, but I'm going to because this is my first ever Starbucks cup. I have never ever purchased a Starbucks cup or tumbler from Starbucks because normally A, I think it's too expensive or B, they're sold out. So I guess this, uh, Peter Mon said his was uh, the Halloween collection. I really don't know. Um, I think this was just part of the holidays, whatever it is, Halloween, Christmas. Um, and this was left with the um, red metallic one, which I wasn't a fan of, but can I just tell you that I love this thing? Um, we had points, so I don't know if it's really considered a purchase, but it is when you use up all your Starbucks points because obviously you made purchases to get those points. But anyway, um, I love the detailing on it. This is like my favorite thing, and it drives Joe crazy because I do that sometimes in the car. But I love it. I love the texture. I love the cup. I love the easiness of it. And I use this for my water. I use this for my smoothies. I use it for everything, so... All right, Peter Mon, I'm going to stop talking about your stuff and get back to mine. And let's see what I wrote down for the next one here. Because I wrote down a couple, then I stopped and I just picked up along the way and said, okay, just... What I have next? Let me see. We have got, oh, this company. Now, I learned about this company through a YouTuber called Shay Whitney, who is a fashion blogger. She um, has a great, great channel. I love her. She does a lot of Amazon videos. She does uh, Nordstrom and she's a reviewer of fashion and, and makeup and things of that nature. And she turned me on to this company called Static Nails. Now I'm not wearing them now because um, here's a true story about this. I wore um, a couple of pairs of Static Nails probably for over a month longer than I normally should have. And what I failed to do because at work I wash my hands so much and things of that nature is I didn't take them off in between. Like I just kept re-gluing them and re-gluing them. So unfortunately I gave myself a little bit of a infection, which is clearing up now, which is why I cut off all my nails. Um, but it has nothing to attribute to static nails. That's just my, um, my error in the way I handled it. But Static Nails is a great, great company. They have these beautiful, beautiful different types of nails. Um, these I plan on wearing for the holidays. I don't know the name of them, but they run for about 14 to $16, but they are so worth it. If you are somebody who gets your nails done or you get acrylics and you're always going back for a fill or going back to get new nails every other week or every three weeks or however you do it, this is so handy because these are reusable. You can do anything to them. You can paint them. You can uh, just, you can put all those little bedazzled jewels or what have you on them and you can still reuse them. They are so amazing. They have different types of um, cuts. Like you can do coffin, you can do triangle, you can do short, you can do long. I really, really love them and they definitely made my list this year. My nails look better than they have been looking. Okay, so the next thing, now that we're on to um, fashion type things, uh, here we are. Okay, so this is a company that I've been hearing about on YouTube for quite some time. And this past year, I bought two pairs of these, and this is from Key Australia. They are sunglasses, of course. I think every YouTuber probably has pairs of these. So they had a deal, I think in the spring or maybe the beginning of the summer, where you could buy one, get one half off or free. I'm not sure. But I did do this because, hey, I lose sunglasses all the time. So I did purchase these, which I love. These are my 
my round ones, my, my, my John Lennon-esque looking ones. I love, absolutely love these. I've worn these in a ton of different pictures. And these guys, well, they so I absolutely adore. Um, Key has such great, um, they have just great, you know, uh, two things here that have helped me tremendously on my fit journey um one being elastic bands these are resistance bands i can tell you that i own so many different resistance bands that don't have handles but i am that kind of a girl that needs to have a grip handle because if i can cause myself a permanent injury i will <laughs> with snapping it back or it's slipping out of my hand or it being too thick. So I got these off of Amazon and they're from a company called RitFit and these are amazing. This is what you will see me using in um, my fitness, what have you, workouts. Um, not that I, you know, have videos or anything of that nature, but I might put something up here. Um, this is a 12 to 16 pound, which is perfect for me. I have so many different ones, but this one is great, especially um, indoors. It does have a doorstop, which I can't find. <laughs> Ever since I purchased it and I used it once, I have not been able to find it. But there is a way where you can just put this doorstop um, and pull your door, and then you can just use it like that. Or you can use it manually the way I do, where I'm doing pull-ups, curls, you know, especially behind my back, stretches. It's amazing for that. And I do have to, to thank these resistance bands for the absolute muscle it is putting on me because seriously, I have not, I have never had shoulder muscles in my life. Never. You've always seen me in my videos where I have got, you know, the, the little bit of the shaky arms, but when I use these, my strengthening and lengthening of my arms, legs, just any part of my body is just, it feels so good after I've worked out with them. And uh, they were very inexpensive too. I think I paid like $16 for these and I use them every single day. So if you want, you can check them out on Amazon. Great gift idea for anybody who's into fitness like me. And then the next thing, these are a little bit, these are a little bit not necessary, but I saw them at Marshalls of all places. Now they're a little cruddy because I wear them every single day. And you're asking yourself, what is that? Is that like, you know, one of those neck collars? No, it's not a neck collar. It is ankle weights. And when I tell you how much these things help me on a daily basis, these things are a tremendous help for me on a daily basis, especially because I do squats. And these guys help me a lot, a lot, because it's very heavy on my knees when I do these squats. So these come in handy. These are about four, I don't, I don't know if they're four to five pounds on each angle, which is not a lot, but it's good for toning, firming, and also if you go on a walk, you can put these on. They kind of just make you um, a bit, bit more balanced as well. And they were very inexpensive, these guys. They were extremely inexpensive. I think I paid $7 for these guys at Marshall's or probably TJ Maxx, Burlington, any of those types of stores. They have a little fitness section right by the registers. Um, I don't know why they do that. They probably go, oh yeah, you know, let me think about this as I'm trying to check out. But um, they have come in so handy and I love them so very much. All right, let's get into some other items that are for the healthy person or the person that wants to get healthy. Now, since I've been on the keto journey, I have been trying so many different supplements. I have followed other YouTubers who talk about certain companies of supplements, and I'll get to that in a minute. But there's another company that I found myself that I absolutely fell in love with, and I use their supplements each and every single day. It is a company called Life Elements. Life Extension. Hmm, you would think you'd get the company, right? Since you use them every day. Life Extension. Um, they are absolutely amazing. This is a, like any vitamin, any supplement you're looking for, this is the place to go. And what I love about them is they will give you a full-blown explanation of what that particular supplement or mineral or vitamin is used for and why it would be good for you. 
you get also, when you order from them, this full chalk magazine that I probably should have showed you. Here it is. This is the magazine that you will receive with every order, every purchase. Um, it gives you so many different tips. It gives you weight loss tips. It tells you about what's missing from your multivitamins. Um, and it gives you so much information about just all of their products. So if you're looking for an alternative to just going into the drugstore or, you know, even what your doctor recommends and sometimes you go online and you're paying like twice the price, three times the price of something because it's either all natural and let's be honest, a lot of these vitamins out there are not all natural. They're not, um, you know, as, as great as they say they are, but this company is, um, they pride themselves on how great their ingredients are and their price point. That's another thing. Their price point is so great. They're always doing sales like this. They have super sales all the time. You can get 30 to 40% off all the time. It's not just, you know, one of those Black Friday deals or what have you. And let's see, I have biotin. I have L-glutamine, which I use prior to my workouts. Um, it's for mood, muscle, and immune support. This is oh, such a great thing for me to take. Equip has the best keto uh, related supplements, things that our particular bodies and our particular needs are necessary. And they have it with clean ingredients and everything that's in here is just top notch. Um, if I did not start using this one particularly, which is the joint support, I don't think I could get through my workouts on a daily basis. I take this once a day. Um, there's a uh, so many great properties in here for you, for your joints, um, and everything that you could ever want. And if like um, they also have a great beef liver, which I take every single day. They have apple cider vinegar, which I take every single day. Um, uh, immune support, which I give my daughter every single day. Amazing ingredients again. And they always have deals um, constantly. And if you follow any of the keto community, they always can give you codes of that nature. So it's amazing. Okay, let's get out of the healthy stuff and into more of the fashionable stuff. So I talked about um, costume jewelry. Now I'm going to talk about something a little bit more, I don't know. I don't think this is bougie, but it's kind of like bougie priced. Um, again, it's, Vic, uh, it's not, it's actually the company I'm about to say, but again, this is Shea Whitney, who I really have to attribute most of my, um, purchases when it comes to fashion to her. This is a bracelet from Victoria Emerson, I think her name is. Yes, Victoria Emerson. And uh, Shay had this on in her videos. She was talking about um, certain, you know, things that go with other things. And I saw these and I was hooked because first of all, these are magnetic. So they go on like this very easily and they are just so pretty. And they're not very expensive. I think when I paid for these, there was a deal. Um, I bought three of them and I think I paid like $44, I want to say. But you can check out her website. I would imagine that she probably has different deals as of now. Um, but if not, they're still worth it. I have I have three that I purchased and there's so many different uh, types. So if you like this type of a bangle, which I think is just gorgeous, I think it goes with everything. These are such neutral colors. There's different types of colors and different creations. And she does this all herself. And they're packaged in this nice little drawstring bag you get. So I ob obviously recommend this very, very highly. Check out Victoria Emerson. Okay. Next things I'm going to talk about is from one of my favorite stores, hands down, and I buy stuff from there at least once a month, but um, there's two things that I specifically purchased this year from this store that I've just loved so much, and um, one of them is this hat. You probably have seen me wear this in certain videos. I wore this all summer long by the pool and vacation, and this is from Primark. Primark is basically one of my favorite stores ever. You can walk in there thinking you're going to buy one thing and you'll come out buying 40. Um, it's inexpensive. There's not a Primark everywhere, which is unfortunate because they did start out in the UK, I believe. And we only have a handful of stores 
um, around in the area. But if you are so inclined and if you do have a Primark in your area, I, I highly, highly recommend them. Um, that is one of the items. And the other is a pair of these uh, wannabe conver Converse, not Converse, Converse shoes that I think are just adorable. And again, I know it's not like, you know, the greatest, hugest purchase, but if you are like me and you love this type of a thing and you don't want to spend the $50, $60 or, you know, sometimes higher for Converse, this is the way to go because these were $9. <laughs> these were $9. And honestly, I have Converse. I have a few pairs of Converse. They're just as comfortable. They're nicely made. I mean, all right, they're not like, you know, built to last for like years and years. But you know what? If you want to throw away a pair of sneakers and you want to look fashionable or you want something to match your outfit for the day, $9 is not that big of a deal. And again, I love them so much. Yes, I know the bottoms are like gross because I've been wearing them. But I absolutely adore Primark. Next, I already mentioned this store and I have an obsession with this store and also with this particular brand of bag. This is from Steve Madden. Now, last year I bought a Steve Madden backpack at DSW and I think I got it after Christmas and it was on a clearance. It was a normally, I think normally $88. I got it for maybe half of that, a quarter of that, I don't recall. I went to Marshall's not that long ago and I saw this and I had been on the lookout for A, a backpack and B, something of this color right here. And I found it. And the reason why I'm struggling is because of how much I put in it. It has so much of my stuff in there. It literally, the amount of room in here is just ridiculous. But this backpack, I mean, there's all the pockets, okay? We've got the front pocket right there we've got this other front pocket right there and then if that wasn't enough we've got a back pocket not to mention inside we've got other side little pockets this thing has been a lifesaver because i'm one of those things i'm one of those things i'm one of those people that just puts everything in her bag and it is a backpack so I have come in over the years now, a few years from transitioning from tote bags to backpacks because I just love them more. Um, and being a, a person that was raised in the city, I think I, I like it more about like you can just jot it onto your back instead of like walking around on your arm and this and all that. And the best part about this is I paid $16 for that thing, $16 for Steve Madden. Again, it was a clearance item at Marshall's, but if you go to Marshall's, you can always find a wonderful deal on a name brand pocketbook. I have one more fashion item, and then we're gonna get into the practical stuff. So if you followed me before, I have always been a subscriber to Just Fab. I love their shoes, I love the deals, but then there are, every now and again, I cancel, then I go back, but this time I, signed up for a different one, which I think is still affiliated with Just Fab. But anyway, these are from Shoe Dazzle. And this is a combat boot that I fell in love with the second I saw them on Instagram when they were advertising their $10 sale. And it got me again because I had canceled Just Fab before and now I'm back with Shoe Dazzle. But honestly, I will tell you that so far so good because I only paid $15 for these guys. I think they were 10 and maybe a couple of dollars for shipping. And then I have another pair that just came in that was on sale for 10. So you know what's great about Shoe Dazzle is they put their new stuff out first. So if you join, you're able to get like the newer stuff. It's not like you're getting like last year's fashions or three years ago's, you know, trends. You're getting it right now. And um, you can always cancel. You don't always have to continue, which is something I do. Sometimes I buy it. Sometimes I forget that I didn't um, skip for the month, which you also can do. Um, but it doesn't matter because I love the variety and all of the styles. So if I want to keep up with the trends and I don't want to spend a lot of money, I don't want to go out there and start spending hundreds of dollars, I go back to Shoe Dazzle or Just Fab. And again, these boots... 
I'm telling you, love them. I am such a 90s girl when it comes to this kind of stuff. And uh, like I said, and speaking of footwear, oh man, this is gross. I know this is gross, but I had to mention these because these are also something I love so much. And it's these slippers that I'm wearing. These are from Amazon. Uh, the company is called Fan Chore, F-A-N-T-U-R-E. These are moccasin slippers. Now I had seen somebody at my job that was wearing something very similar to these, but I think hers were really expensive. They might've been Eddie Bauer or one of those. So I looked on Amazon and I was like, oh, you know, I want to see if, what, what they have to offer. And I found these. I think they were an Amazon bestseller or favorite. And they cost me about $23, which I thought was a great, great deal. They are super, super soft and the most comfortable thing you will ever wear in your life. I wear these in the house and I wear these out of the house. I'm that girl. I actually wore them to do laundry the other day. I, I wear them to go get the mail. I go... I wear them anywhere I can because I just love them. They feel like you're walking on a cloud. They're warm, they're comfortable, they're fashionable. So if anybody comes over, which is not likely, but if they did, if I had imagined somebody came over, they would look at these and they would think these were shoes because quite frankly, I thought they were shoes when I saw them on another girl who bought you know them for three times the price. But anyway... All right, so next thing is practical. And I know this is gonna sound very strange, but here's another thing that was very helpful to my keto life. And it's this thing right here. What is this? It's a pitcher. Yes, it is a pitcher, but it is a Brita water filter pitcher, which yes, as you can see, has gotten a lot of love and a lot of use. And there's a reason for that. Because ever since I started my keto journey, I stopped drinking bottled water and went to this. This is always fresh on tap. Um, this filter, I will tell you, <laughs> I bought this probably in late February, maybe early March. I don't even recall, but I got this from Sam's Club and it was like 20 something dollars and I bought, it came with the two filters. One filter lasted way longer than four months. It lasted quite long, quite long. I just put the second filter in maybe about a month ago. It is the cleanest water I have ever had. I love it. I, I, get my water intake because of this filter, uh, filtered pitcher, because I am not one that likes to drink water all the time because for me, the bottle or the bottle tastes, sometimes you leave the bottles around, they get warm or what have you. And it's like, it just doesn't taste good to me, but this is always good. And I always make sure that I fill up either this tumbler or my uh, water bottles, the ones that are like cold and keep everything insulated constantly. So that was a big amazing purchase and I know it's so simple and so like who cares Dawn but you know what it, it helped my life this year all right next thing another <laughs> another thing you're gonna go what is that is this guy right here I know I know but bear with me bear with me I will show you why I love this thing so much so I just undid my ring light because it is on my little charger here but here is why I love this thing so much first off it's got a USB cable and second, it's got three very strong um, clicks on it. Like you can just click this once if you want it, you know, eh, okay, that's okay. But if you want like, this thing has stayed with me all summer long. I took this thing outside so many times with me by the pool, just, you know, for extra air because I'm, you know, I'm, I'm diva-ish like that. But the amazing thing, it's got a USB cable and it goes in your chargers. It goes, I keep this charged every day and I still use it. I still use it because I need that kind of air circulation and I like the white noise behind it. I know I'm weird. What are you going to do? But it was so inexpensive and it was probably one of the best. I would probably put this at number one. If I had to say, if I had to pick the number one thing that I purchased this year, why? this little fan on Amazon. So I'm not sure of the company, it says 24 on here, but that could be something else. But if I find the company, I will let you guys know. It says natural wind on it. I just love, I don't know, I just love clicking and I love having it on. And I love the fact 
okay? That you don't even have to operate with batteries. What? What? Are you kidding? Y'all need to get one of these. All right, I have, I think, two more, and then it's pretty much summed up. I don't know if this is 20. It probably is or it isn't. I don't know. I'm not really keeping track. All right, the next thing is something I have talked about before on my channel, but I got a new one this year, and that is these color-changing foundations. Now, this is a newer company than I'm used to. There was another one I was using um, for a very long time, and another bottle, white bottle. This one is a little bit more bougie if you want to call it that and has like this gold wrapped around it the only disclaimer and the only thing I really hate about this is the pump to this because there are times that this pump does not want to work like right now <laughs> and at least with the other company I was using I could take it off and then use it that way this one I, I cannot so I don't know if I would recommend this company they're called this I can't even pronounce that but the foundation color changing as far as like a product like this changed my entire way I do makeup because obviously when you're home, you're not going to wear foundation every single day of your life. At least I don't wear foundation every single day of my life or times that I just don't feel like putting on a full set of makeup, but I want something. This is great for that. And also it includes an SPF in there. That's not a high SPF, but it's a good one. And you can always put SPF underneath and then this will just be like an extra just to add an SPF 15. It does smell of sunscreen as well, which if you don't mind that, I don't mind that. I love it. What I love about this is it adheres to your skin tone. I don't know if it's because of your chemistry or the warmth of your what have you, but it adheres to your skin tone. Yes, I am wearing it today. And my this is my skin tone. This is what my skin looks like. I think that it makes your skin look like it's skin. And it's not like a foundation foundation. And it's very cheap and inexpensive. So if you want something without having to grab, you know, the, the foundations, the drugstore, the, you know, whatever... This is the way to go. It's like 11 bucks on, on Amazon. I will link it below. I will link the one that I used to like. I think they stopped. I don't know if they discontinued it or if they just ran out, but they had another one that I loved and I, I repetitively bought, but then I had to go with this one, which is not my favorite. And obviously I don't like it because of the bottle, but I do like the product inside. All right, I saved the best for last, if you want to call it that, because this this is not something that you can get online. This was just actually, it just happened. Okay, let me let me let me get it and I'll show you what I mean. All right, so I don't know if you guys do thrifting, but I do every now and again, and my daughter is a big fan of it as well. And every now and again, we go we go to this place called Savers. I think they are everywhere. They are like the newer type of Salvation Army. They're everywhere. Anyway, that day that I purchased this item right here, my daughter was, um, we had just gone to TJ Maxx or Burlington to buy her a new coat for her birthday. We walked into Savers and I was not looking. I was not looking for this, but it called my name. It really did call my name. And I have to make it look pretty before I present it to you because here it is. This gorgeous, gorgeous ivory coat, which when you see who it's from, you're going to lose it. Okay, let's just zoom in on that. That says Kenneth Cole, New York. Okay, this is a Kenneth Cole coat. And look at the, just the condition of this thing. It is literally brand new. I don't think whoever owned this wore it more than once. They couldn't have. It is so gorgeous. I saw this and I literally gasped. I was like, oh. I have to have that. The price of this, honestly, if you went into a store tomorrow, I think the price is around $180 normally, which bleh, I couldn't do. I paid 30 bucks for this. I paid 30 bucks for this coat. And I know that it's not gonna be uh, you know, sold everywhere, but savers, if you find a gem, you're going to find a gem, like an amazing gem. There were so many women there that day trying on coats and ooing and eyeing and just, you know, oh, I have to get this. I have to get this. And I have been very fortunate and very lucky 
when it comes to savers, we have done it for costumes, we've done it for plays, we've done it for just clothing, you know, oh, workout stuff, please, I go to savers. I have no shame in my game when it comes to saving money or anything of that nature. Okay, guys, that is it for my top 20 or 18, 19, I don't even know what number I went to, but my top 20 of 2020 purchases that I loved so much. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe and let me know in the comments if you yourself like any of these items, if you've heard any of these items, or if you'd like to know where to get these items, I will leave all the links below as well as describing them as best as I can, because you know how good I am at that. Anyway, guys, thanks for joining, and I will see you in my...